How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is the fourth episode of rigging up my Sony A7 Mark III. And in this video, we'll be taking a look at Eurig's R015 cold shoe monitor mount to attach monitor accessories to get a better composition of the scene that you are framing or getting shot in focus. Go through all the features this budget-friendly cold shoe mount has to offer and my overall impression. Hi, my name is Ken and welcome back to the channel where we'll talk about filmmaking, photography, iPad Pro related content and tech. If any of this piques your interest, consider subscribing to the channel as you may learn a thing or two from these videos. Here are all the topics that we'll be discussing today. Sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Let's dive right in. If you have missed my previous videos about rigging up my Sony A7 Mark III, the R063 metal cage or the R008 top handle, all of which are from Uric, you can check out the playlist I have put together on my channel. Links will be in the description box below. We'll be there out of the way. Let's dive right in. As usual, let's start off with the unboxing of Uric's R015 cold shoe monitor mount. It comes packaged inside a cardboard type box and inside the box is an allen key as well as the monitor mount itself and literally that is all that comes inside the box moving on to the build quality of the r015 monitor bracket it is made entirely from aluminium alloy and it is really really well built the dimensions is sitting at 30 millimeters in length and width and about 54 millimeters in height and it weighs around 55 grams from the top, it has a quarter inch screw thread with RE locating spring pin to ensure a tight connection between this monitor mount and the mounted accessories. And this part right here is a soft rubber material to prevent slipping or damaging the mounted accessory. The tightening knob has threads around it making it easier to tighten and loosen the knob. The R015 also features a 180 degree front and rear adjustment and up to 360 degree rotation. Hidden under the knob, there is a hexagonal screw to tighten the 360 degree rotation. In case it get loose in the future, you get to tighten it back. At the side of the 180 degree tilt, there is another hexagonal screw to tighten the rotation in case you are mounting heavier accessories. Well, the bottom mounting system is using a universal cold shoe mount with a hexagonal threaded knob for tightening and loosening it. And finally, at the very bottom, you get a quarter inch female thread in case you don't plan to use a cold shoe mount. Now, let's take a look at the features and how I use this R015 cold shoe monitor mount. Here, I'm using it on the R008 top handle to basically mount my Field World's 5.5 inch F6 Plus monitor as part of my camera rig. Simply screw in the quarter inch screw on the bottom of the monitor and secure the connection using the thumb screw. And now, we can mount the monitor via cold shoe adapter onto the top handle that has plenty of cold shoe mounts. Slide it in and turn the knob to tighten it. So with this setup, I can easily rotate the monitor 360 degrees depending on what type of shot I'm required to take. Say if I'm required to be in front of the camera, then the monitor will have to be facing me as such. It acts as a flip out screen that is non-existent on the Sony A7 Mark III, where you can only tilt the screen outwards and if I'm not required to be in the shot then the monitor will be facing behind the camera and it functions as a bigger screen which improves framing your shot and nailing focus. With 180 degree tilt I'm also able to get low angle shots as I can easily tilt the screen facing flat as I look down getting a clear view of the low angle shot. It is a much better experience as compared to looking at the tilting screen from the A7 Mark III. Now, onto the things that I like and dislike about the R015. What I absolutely like about it is the price range sitting at about 50 ringgit or less. You get to not only use it for mounting your monitor, you also get to basically mount any other quarter inch screw thread accessories with a tilt and rotation feature. For example, you can use it to add external light source like the VL196 RGB LED. The original mount bracket that comes with the VL196 RGB LED is more on the plastic side of things and when compared to the R015 mount, it is way better and it has more functionality. Now you are able to adjust the tilt and swivel of the RGB lighting whether if it is mounted on your camera rig or even on a tripod. Here's another tip on how I utilize the tilt and rotation function together with the Rode Video Micro on camera mic. I have a 3 8 to quarter inch screw at the bottom of the microphone shock mount and I connect it to the R015. And now I can easily switch between a vlog style microphone setup where the microphone faces forward or simply holding the camera with the microphone facing backwards as I showcase or explain about something during a vlog. I don't have to unscrew the cold shoe mount on a Rode Video Micro and screw it back in the opposite direction. To me, that is pretty convenient. 
However, there is one thing that I didn't like about the product is that the bottom part of the tightening of the cold shoe monitor mount. Although you are able to tighten it, a hard push will be able to slide it from its mounting point, which is a bit weird. But don't worry, as from all of my past usages, it has never come off accidentally. And even if it does, it is still pretty easy to tighten it. But I would still prefer a more secure connection between the cage and the monitor mount. All in all, this is a fantastic little close shoe mount monitor to have, with its price range sitting at about 50 ringgit. Take note that there are other versions from Uric, the Uranzi U150 DSLR camera ball head monitor mount, that sort of functions about the same. And Uranzi's PT12 triple cold shoe mount, which offers three additional cold shoe placements. And that is all I have for you guys in this video. Hope you find this insightful. If you have any questions at all, feel free to drop a comment down below. I'll be sure to get back to you guys as soon as possible. Like the video if you actually enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. In the next episode, we'll be taking a look at the R070 Crane 2S Stabilizer Expansion Plate that adds a cold shoe mount on the camera cage or even on your gimbal. As always, thank you all so so much for tuning in. I'll catch you all in the next video. Stay safe, peace out, and bye bye.